Hi, welcome to my channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and today I will share my learning about ClickView object button. So button doesn't need any introduction. It is a vastly used object in various web pages or applications. And I believe uh, if you are working in a computer, you definitely have seen different buttons. Uh, like if you have uh, worked in Microsoft Office, you have uh, various buttons similar to the ones present here like New, Open, Refresh or, and you may have seen uh, different kind of buttons in web pages also that performs certain kind of activity which is associated to them. So for example, uh, I think everyone uh, who is viewing this video will have used the uh, google.com for searching. So when you enter your uh, search text into the Google and hit on the search button, it performs the query on the web and gives you the desired result. So I will not talk more uh, about button and explaining what it is, but directly uh, go into the click view and see how we can create a button and perform the action of a requirement. So let's set the business case first that um, uh, we want to have a button which will clear uh, whatever selection that we can make. Uh, but you may say that we have a clear button for that for clearing all this. But for just for the example's sake, uh, we are trying to achieve the same result with the help of a button. Uh, in such scenarios, if you do not have this uh, clear button present in this toolbar. So let's say uh, you do not have this toolbar where you are saying navigation and now you do not have the clear button. So in such scenarios, uh, uh, you can uh, save the space by removing this toolbar and create a text uh, a button object for clearing all of the selections that you are making here. So let's see how we can create a button. We will right click on the blank space, go to new sheet object and uh, click on button. So we will, we will give a name to this button like uh, clear selections. And uh, this is about the alignment, whether we want to align it left, center, or right. But let's make leave this a default one as a center. The important part is to assign the action to it. So to assign the action, click on Add. And you have this these action types grouped into uh, five different segments, like selections. Under selections, you have various actions that you can assign to a button. You have layout. Again, you have uh, certain actions in this layout segment. Bookmark, uh, actions related to the bookmarks. Print, so you want to print an object, print sheet, print report. You can assign this to a button. External, you want to export something, uh, export the dashboard launch and uh, open you want to open some URL so we will see uh, some of these options uh, after creating our first requirement which is clearing all of the selections so let's search where we have uh, this clear all here we have here I have found this clear all action and I'll click OK and OK so now let's make some selections. Say, for example, I want 2010 and want to see May data. Now I do not have the clear all button uh, for my end user. So I have given a separate one here in the clear selection. So I click on this and you see that whatever selection I have made is now removed. All right. So this is the first action type that we have just seen. Uh, 
let's see uh, some more action type I will right click on this button properties and uh, uh, let's change the text so let's say we want to open a URL the click view site so we say clickview.com so we want whenever somebody click on this button uh, the button should open the click view site so let's go into actions we will first delete this and click on add and uh, as you may have seen I just showed that uh, open URL is present in external because uh, we are doing an activity something which is external to the click view application so the third option is open URL we click OK and uh, here we need to give the URL like HTTP colons forward slash another forward slash www dot clickview dot com you say OK now you see that text is changed and when we click on this uh, it should open the clickview dot com so let's see yeah here it is so this is really helpful in such scenarios uh, uh, where you have some internal site in your organization uh, and you want to give a link over here so that user can directly uh, go to that site and do the activity which is related to this uh, report or the dashboard so now let's talk about uh, another action type uh, that we can do with this button say for example uh, you want to open some application when somebody clicks on this button so say you want to open a notepad so what will you do you will right click on this button click on properties and uh, change the text stating that open notepad and we will first remove this earlier used action click on delete add so we click on external and we will say launch so launch is to launch an application uh, or file name file name with para parameters or some working directory so we click on this application and we want to open notepad.exe so we click on apply ok now let's click on this and see so here it is so this is very flexible right because uh, say uh, you want to give a user to flexibility that uh, whatever they are seeing they can just open the notepad by clicking on the button and then they can uh, uh, note uh, the commands related to the dashboard so we saw some of the properties now I will encourage you uh, to go ahead and explore some more of properties related to the action that is present uh, here in this actions tab but for now uh, let's see one other property that uh, I have preset uh, which is enable condition so what it does it will only enable this button when the condition satisfy so whenever the fiscal year is equals to 2011 then only the button will be enabled otherwise it will be disabled so let's see how it works so if I select 2010 you say that it is in disabled mode now you if you click on this it will not perform any action but again if I click on 2011 the button is enabled right so I just want the user to comment uh, to store the comment only for the 2011 year so you can think up of uh, doing this uh, whenever you receive such requirement that uh, only on the basis of a particular condition 
you know you want to enable a button then in that case this enable condition will be very flexible to use so um, rest other tabs in which you have various properties like actions which I have already explained uh, font is simple enough you know you just want to change the font of the text which is present into this tab in this button so you can change the style and uh, implement it over here very straightforward so let's move on to layout layout uh, as I usually explain these properties that show property whether you want this button to always show or you want to conditionally show this then you can enable this condition so as you remember that uh, we used one condition in general tab which says that uh, you want to enable this button only when the year is 2011 but for say you want to only show the button uh, when the year is 2011 then you can use the same condition in the conditional show so I will just cut this and uh, paste it over here in conditional under the show category and say this click on apply okay so if I select 2010 now you see the button is completely displayed so one or the other technique uh, you can use either you can disable the button or you can hide the button simply depends on uh, your requirements what your end user wants so I will again right again click on this 2011 button is in front of me I will go into properties and make it always the rest other option is uh, you want to uh, allow the end user to move or resize this button then you can check this if you want to copy or clone the end user can copy or clone this then you can enable this checkbox button so scroll bar I think is not applicable in such case I think uh, I have never used, seen any scroll bar in a button so no point in discussing these things caption very simple uh, so if you have some caption now I have never used any caption for button let's see whether it's actually using anything so if I say button and click on apply oh yeah it uses it ah that's a new thing for me too alright but no point in showing such information but a very good thing if you have such requirement that you want to show some text above the button then you can use this show caption property for the button uh, inactive caption and active caption is something like uh, uh, when the button is active you click on this what kind of color and uh, text color it uses and when it is not active or some other objective active then what kind of color and text color it should have currently it is not showing any of these because uh, these color are some based on some predefined themes but you when you create a button from the scratch uh, for the first time you can uh, use these background color and text color to assign the property multi-line caption uh, so you saw earlier that we have a caption like button but you have a longer caption you can set a multi-line caption for this and specify the number of lines exposition y position about uh, uh, where it is placed in the dashboard and width and height you know that it is the width uh, it is the height and here is this width I just said opposite in opposite way sorry for that allow minimize if you want this button to minimize but uh, it never happens so let's not uh, use this it is irrelevant in this case so these are all the things uh, that you can do with the button object of click view so go ahead and explore some more properties and do some new cool things with this. So I will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.